Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and I've just finished watching the first episode, the pilot episode of new TV series from AMC, Preacher, and I wanted to do something along this lines for quite a while. I thought about doing another channel separately, but as our good buddy Scott Custom Bromstar said on one of his recent videos, you know, why make another channel? Why does our channels have to be absolutely completely about comic books? Uh, and I thought, well, you know what, and he always is, Scott was right. And it's, as I said, it's something I wanted to do for a while, and that's uh, do kind of like reviews or my thoughts about what's going on on the TV series that I particularly watch. And I thought this might be a good start and see how you react to it, whether you want to see more of the stuff. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit rusty because it's the first time I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but we'll go with it for now. Stick with me, we'll see how we go. Um, and you can react down there in the comment section and let me know whether I should continue doing it. Because there are other actually um, kind of comic book series that I'm kind of interested in trying out. I've not tried out Lucifer yet and I've not tried out iZombie and they're both TV series I can I can look at i.e. they're on Netflix or they're on Amazon Prime and they're both from Vertigo strangely enough as is Preacher. Um, so let, let, let's crack on with, with my thoughts uh, and how the first episode kind of came across for me while I was watching it. Um, the first thing that kind of struck me is kind of like it introduced a lot of characters straight away. All our main characters are there. So we've got Jesse Custer played by Dominic Cooper. Uh, you may have seen Dominic Cooper because he's he's not uh, unfamiliar with the comic book world as he plays Howard Stark in um, the Captain America movie and TV's Agent Carter. He did really well and this is this is another funny thing that I found about the three main characters. Uh, obviously this takes place in Texas or some sort of American kind of backwater kind of redneck town. Um, the three main characters are all kind of British origin you know that they're either from England or Ireland uh, which I think is quite amusing I don't know why but big up our British actors. Uh, then you get Cassidy uh, who is played by Joe Gilgan. Now although you might know Dominic Cooper from his works Joe Gilgan might not be so familiar with you, with you. He's played a lot of parts in British soap operas um, he always kind of plays in these kind of drama TV type programs like, I don't know if you've heard of This Is England, there was a drama series about that and they're always kind of like, kind of bleak and grim look at the life of, of someone living in England. But he, you may know him more when he played um, Rudy in a kind of cult TV show called Misfits, which was kind of comic booky because they had superpowers um, but again it was kind of a British TV show so some of you might not have known it and finally of our kind of trinity of main characters Tulip O'Hare played by a Ruth uh, Neger or Neger um, and she was she her face was like I know who this woman is I've seen her on something before um, again she's not kind of unfamiliar with the comic book world. She was, she played Raina in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but she's not, um, she's not familiar with the big screen either. She was in World War Z and 12 Years a Slave among many other things that all these people have done. Uh, I, they were just a few things. But of the main characters I thought they were really really well cast. Um, Dominic Cooper makes this kind of great gritty um, troubled 
preacher who's kind of following in the footsteps of his, his father, slightly unreluctantly. You've got Cassidy, who is this kind of fun character, a rather dark humour, um, doesn't mind getting his hands a little dirty, as we see in our first episode. And then Ruth Niga, who just exemplifies the kind of strong, no messing around, female, smart mouth, um, isn't again, isn't afraid to get her hands dirty and can look after herself. The three of them really great choices for for the roles so far as we've seen. Um, there was enough gore and kind of dark humour in this first episode to make anyone watching realise that although this is a comic book adaptation, this ain't your Avengers. Um, you're not going to get kind of the PG stroke 12 sanitised violence. You are going to see people ripping their hearts out, literally. You are going to see bones being broken and seeing them. You're going to see punches fly blood splatter uh, it was all great there was lots of action in this first episode which I really appreci appreciated um, the director who I probably should have remembered their name or at least written it down they kept the pace going the storyline going um, kind of like slow in parts to build up the story and then punctuated it with all these great choreographed action scenes so great stuff there uh, obviously it was a solid introduction to the characters to go with that but it left enough um, to make viewers who are unknown to this this work want to come back and find out more um, there were some bits that I found a little bit they're, they're niggles um, it's been a long long time since I've read Preacher um, it ended, if I remember rightly, back in 2000, and I probably, well I know I did, I read it after it had come out in singles, I read it all in trade, um, I remember very little of it, I remember elements of it, I obviously remember some of the big characters, I remember R Space, who they've already introduced into the programme, uh, and obviously the main characters and who they are, how they've got where they are. I know all those bits, but the actual storyline that runs through the whole comic book series, very, very sketchy. But I do already see they're playing kind of loose with that storyline. They're not sticking straight to the book. And I think... And I know people will complain about this. I know as the series goes on, um, and, and I kind of felt I felt the same way when Walking Dead was, was going on and why I kind of stopped watching it now. Not because it's not a good TV show, but because it wasn't what I wanted to see and that was a more faithful adaptation of the comic book series. This one... Because of, its, because of its age, and it is set of a certain time, I don't think it would have transferred as well to the TV screen uh, and the audience it's now aimed at if it, it had done a straight kind of adaptation. Not word for word, but maybe kind of more scenes. Um, uh, and that kind of showed in the way that Jesse Custer, um, let's say, is possessed. Um, I don't want to make these reviews too spoilerish, unless that's something you want. If you want me to do more of these, I don't mind. I know spoilers are a big thing uh, and people get kind of upset about them a lot. Um, so I did think they may have introduced too many characters too soon. I've already mentioned Arseface. From what I remember, his character didn't come in for, for quite a while in the comic books, but they've already thrown him in there. They've obviously had to tone down that kind of disfigurement of, of Arse Face. I just love saying that name. Um, but I, I just think that would have been uh, a very difficult to portray on the TV screen, but they've done it enough to, to, to warrant the name. Um, great stuff there. Uh, the only other con that I really don't like about it is that I've got to wait another two, 
two weeks, not one week, two weeks for the next episode. However, I am very, very, very happy that they haven't just thrown all the episodes at us at once. One of the things I hate about Netflix and the Daredevil and the Jessica Jones and all those is that they put the whole season on at once. I think it harms people's viewing of it because and we are in this culture where we binge watch something. I don't like to do that. I am still only on the second episode of Jessica Jones because I've heard everyone talk about it or they've already watched it all. I, I'm not one for being bothered about spoilers too much, but I already know how it finishes. And now I don't feel the need to go and watch it as quickly as everyone else has. Why Netflix can't put it out one episode at a time every week, like a standard TV show, I don't know. But I don't like that whole binge watch. I know a lot of people do. Watch it all in the first day. I don't know how they manage it. Um, not that whether a TV show is good or bad, but I kind of get a bit restless after maybe watching two, three episodes all at once and I need to go and do something else and there just isn't enough hours in the day. So, really looking forward to the next episode of Preacher. Uh, really interested to see what direction and how they will ad adapt going forward the, the source material. But, great stuff. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments section what you liked. What bits did you pick up on? The, um, there were some issues with the, um, the kind of titles um, that kept cropping up. The, the kind of font size saying, oh, this is Texas, or this is Russia, or this is Africa. And that first, very first scene, uh, I, it's not spoiling anything, but it felt very much like it was a 70s education film. It felt, it was, it got filmed very strangely. Um, if this was a CGI effect, it wasn't very good in the slightest. Um, and I thought we were going to suddenly pan out to a schoolroom watching a really old videotape um, of some, I don't know, public service announcement. I don't know. I didn't like that very much at all. Um, however, um, like I said, as a whole, really enjoyed it. Um, we'll definitely be watching see, uh, episode two. And I just want to know what you thought about it. Let me know in the comments section down below. If you want me to do more kind of TV review -y type things of episodes, if you want me to do a review of each episode of Preacher, let me know. Um, I've, Like I said, I thought about doing a separate channel about... TV and films and the like, um, but I can just as easily do it here. Uh, it's just if you people out there want to see something like that, because you're my audience. You you tell me what you like. <laughs> Until next time, bye bye.